gentlemen, welcome to TFI Card Tips. Sweet! I've just released a video on a very similar topic to this one. Uh, this, in fact, you can see it rendering along the bottom right now. That video contains all the different simplification methods available to you in Inventor. So shrink wrap, derive part, and create simplified part. Three ways of doing the exact same thing. I've explained all of those in a very long video which is currently rendering. What I thought I'd do is pick out what I think most people are going to be interested in knowing. The most easiest of them all. And I'll do its own video on just that alone. So instead of sitting through that, you can watch this one instead and get straight to the point. So what we've got here is an assembly of 20 parts. And for multiple different reasons, you might want to convert this assembly into a much simpler variation of itself. So instead of having a assembly or an assembly, Neil, get your grammar right, an assembly with 20 parts being handled by Inventor, you can block this down into just a one part that looks exactly the same as the assembly. And there's a link between the two. Well, you can do that. And the easiest way of doing it is to use the simplification tools which are in the assembly environment. So you've got your assembly open, you click simplify on the top, and you've got create simplified part here and what you do is you click that and it will block a part of whatever's visible on screen whatever objects you've got here it will create an ipt containing those parts so we'll say well let's make this uh, component let's just call it stapler and we'll drop it on the desktop so we're going to get stapler.ipt which looks exactly like this assembly click ok there's no questions there's no nonsense there's no hullabaloo there's no shenanigans it just goes ahead and does it so there you go there's your ipt it looks exactly the same as the assembly well, apart from some texture differences, you're going to get some texture differences. It's not the best. Inventor can't quite handle split faces and textures. It, it trips up a little bit on stuff like that. But, but, it's not the end of the world. In most cases, you don't care. You don't care. So these, here's your simplified part. You'd save that, and you've now got an IPT which looks exactly like the assembly. Now, the, there's a couple of key things to know about here. The IPT has a link an associative link between itself and the assembly it came from. And that's represented by this little browser node here. So what you would do is you'd right click on that. And if you don't want that link, if you don't want this to update, if the assembly changes. So for example, in the assembly, you can go to the original parts and change the size, the widths. So you can add new parts in, stuff like that. And with the link, those changes and the new parts would update to come through into this new IPT. So it's 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 a constant mirror almost of the original assembly. If you don't want that, you can right click and you can either break the link or suppress the link. Just be warned, if you break the link, you can't redo it. You can't get that link back. So if you just, what a lot of people, some people are paranoid that when you've got these simplified parts, there's a constant talking between the original part and the assembly and that slows inventor down whether it does or not it's, it's up for debate but if you don't want that link to happen you can suppress it and you can re-enable it in the future if you want to constantly sever the link permanently well then just break it and then uh, just be aware that you can't undo it now once you've simplified it if you want some further options that like you maybe don't want this cut piece here maybe you want to to remove some other bits and pieces well you can right click on the the node and you can say uh, edit the derived assembly and that opens up a dialog box where you can say well you've you've, you've derived this you've, you've simplified this into uh, into a solid body i want it to be a surface model i want it to be smaller well, you can pick the surface option there. If you do want to exclude some of the parts, well, you can say, well, that front cap there, you can go to the upper piece, you can find where that cap is, uh, and that would be that piece there, and you can exclude it. So you click the little circle, and that circle represents that one there, which is excludes the selected component. You can click OK, and it'll then remove that part from your uh, simplified part. Yeah? Pretty simple and straightforward, isn't it? That's pretty much all there is to it. You'd save that off, and then you can use that IPT in your assemblies instead of the original bulky assembly, which in this case is not that bulky, but you know what I mean. Or you can email that IPT out to somebody else. Just email them the part. They don't need the assembly. They don't need all the, the individual piece parts that make it up. They've just got everything they need inside that IPT. It's like, it's like zipping the assembly into a part file, almost. Very much almost. All right, so some other options that you've got on the Simplify tab, right? You've got Include Components and Define Envelopes, right? So what this allows you to do is this allows you to sort of dress the assembly before you simplify it down. So if you only want the shell of the stapler, for example, you only want the top and the bottom piece, well, what you can do is you can say Include Components, and I just want to include that and that, and maybe those two pieces there, right? That's all I want to include 
in the simplified part. So you'd right click and you'd click OK. And that creates an assembly view representation containing just those two or three bits, however many are clicked. And then you'd simplify part and it will now zip up the assembly containing just these pieces and then put those into an IPT instead. Yeah, pretty simple and straightforward again. Right, let's delete that uh, that representation, go back to the original. Now, another thing you can do is you can say, right, well, I want to, I want to include all of these pieces, but I also want to include that, 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 and uh, maybe that bit inside there. Okay. Then what you can do is if you're thinking to yourself, well, I need to send this to a client, and I don't want them to see all the little details, or I don't want them to see you know, all the grooves and all the stuff that I've designed, what you can do is box this up into like a like a space saver type component like a bounding box by defining envelopes clicking these pieces here and then clicking tick and it'll box the parts up into an envelope and then okay and then instead of having all the original detail you're just going to get a blanked off box instead so you've got that space saver the the recipient knows that there's something there the approximate size and shape of it but they don't see all the detail. You can do that as well with define envelopes. That then creates a couple of nodes in the browser, so you can see envelope one and envelope two. Right click on them, select show original, and then it'll show you what was originally there and it just temporarily hides the envelopes. And then you can just pick them back up and then untick show original and it'll put the bounding box back on. And that's pretty much it. If you want to get shot of the envelopes, if you thought it was a good idea, but then you change your mind, you can right click on them and delete them gets rid of them. Alternatively, let's just undo that. You can select one of the envelopes and then edit the envelope and you can sort of make it bigger, change its color. So it sort of ma it tries to match the color of the original parts, but if you want, you can change that and uh, make it whatever you want. I mean, that looks ridiculous, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You get the point. You get the point, right? So that's create simplified part. That's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. It's a nice little handy tool to simplify stuff down into a single IPT and a couple of bit of extra control via these two options here. What I would say is don't do this on massive assemblies. If you have got a huge assembly with thousands of parts, this is never going to work. The result in IPT, essentially, like I said earlier, you're zipping up an assembly into, uh, into an IPT. The more parts you're zipping up, the bigger that IPT, the end IPT is going to be. So don't do this if you've got a massive assembly. You're going to have to possibly use derive part and then exclude things uh, before you actually create the, the final simplified part. Check out the other video. Uh, which I'm currently rendering down here, which will explain all that in more detail. That's pretty much it, guys. That's a simplified part. Available in Inventor 2016, 15, possibly 14. I don't remember. But if you're on something like Inventor 2010 or 2011, chances are you're not going to have it. It's got to be, it's a more recent of the, uh, the, the the features which have been put into Inventor. All right, thank you very much. If that was good, press like. If, uh, if you didn't like it, press dislike and write some comments down below. Subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you later. Doodle. Here we go!